Hi friends. All right, cat's out of the bag. If you're seeing this video, my haul video for our trip to Maui, then you have obviously seen our video from yesterday about packing for Hawaii. And I only did it that way. Usually I do a haul video and then a packing video, but I just wanted to do it in this order. You'll have obviously seen from the packing video why I did it that way. So if you are coming to this channel from just the concept of what to buy in preparation for Hawaii, this is the video for you. I'm so excited to share with you what I have got over the past couple months. To be fair, I haven't been just doing one bulk order here and one, and one bulk order there. I have been kind of spacing things out, watching for things to be on sale. Some of the things I didn't intend to take to Hawaii, but I bought them before I even knew we were going to go to Hawaii. I'll explain all that. So. I'm going to show you everything that I have gotten from Amazon, Target, and Old Navy. I have picked up a few other things like from Shein. I got two pairs of workout shorts. I'll kind of talk about that when I talk about like the Old Navy stuff. I'm, I didn't really include them in this video because it wasn't specific for Hawaii, but it was specific for like working out. Okay, so let's just jump right in. I think we should do the Amazon stuff because that's the fun stuff and I'm really excited to share with you. Okay, let's jump right in. I'm gonna go with the first thing that I have here on my desk, my new electronic bag. I have a larger one that I have taken in the past and I found this one on Amazon a couple weeks ago, maybe even like a month or two ago. These are the pencil pouches that I bought my daughters for school. Chelsea and Abby have them and Kaylee got one and they like to have highlighters and pens and pencils and erasers and Chelsea especially is she's in a lot of art classes so she has a whole set of pens and pencils and charcoal pens and so she needed a larger pencil case so I'm let me just show you this one. When I was ordering these for them for back to school, I thought this might make the perfect little electronic case. So see how like I didn't intentionally buy it for Hawaii, but it, it just fell into my lap. So I just kind of had to do it. So anyway, there's two little pouches that you can open up and I've already got it packed and it fits like my little batteries, the little batteries and SD cards go into these little pouches right inside here. And then on this side, there's a little pocket here and I'm gonna put my GoPro stick, my actual GoPro will go into here as well and then I have an extra cord I need to kind of tuck away and put an elastic around and then there's just other little pockets inside here that I can put things but the main thing that's going to go in here is my computer charging cord my external hard drive and all of the cords that are attached to that and my adapter for my SD card it's all going to go into here and it's going to be easier to not only store it in here and take it on the plane with me but also when I'm working at the hotel I have to work from the hotel just so you know I work at very late into the night and edit, I can just leave this open and kind of set things in there after I'm done working with them. And then things kind of stay contained and organized and not getting lost. Okay, my next item, Jason made fun of me for this one. He's like, you're you're eking the line of grandma. But, and yes, I already have makeup bags. I have two of them and I love my black one. If you've seen my travel videos before, you'll know that that one is a great one. But I have realized going to Hawaii, I don't wear a lot of makeup. Yes, I have a full face on today and it's the first time in like two weeks that I've done a full face of makeup. You don't do a full face of makeup in Hawaii. So I'm leaving most of my makeup at home, but I will be taking like eyeshadow and mascara and some other things. So I got myself a new little makeup bag, kind of combined and did multi-purpose. Let me just introduce you to my bag. I haven't named her yet. It's a her because she's pink, but Jason says it looks like a grandma bag because it's, it's quilted and we need to not have him be so mean because it's fine that it's quilted. It hangs up, got a little hook that can hang it from the door, but I can hang it like that. And then I have access to some of my makeup. This is lotion, bronzer, and setting, setting powder. And then in this pouch right here, I can access my foundation. I do use that for my eyes when I'm setting my eyes. And just a few little, like my, I actually have a Sharpie in there. I have my mascara and a few eyeshadows right there. And I also have my razor and then it just zips up like that. Okay, now let me show you this little pocket here in the front. It just opens up right there. And then the main pouch, you'll have seen from the packing video, I'll kind of go into more detail about what is in here. So if you want to watch that, go back to yesterday's video. It just fits all of my bathroom supplies way easier and because I'm not taking all the makeup. And the fun thing is on the back, back side, it has my makeup palettes. I'm only taking two, but then on this little flap right there, few makeup brushes. It will go into my checked bag, so I'm not worrying about weight or ounces or liquids or anything like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and check it. I didn't wanna have to worry about that with my lotions and any of that stuff. So don't worry about that. 
Okay, next up for stuff from Amazon, I got a cute pair of like swim shorts. These ones, I don't, I'm not gonna wear them in the water, but they can get wet. Like I can put these over my swimsuit and then wear around town if we happen to just be going from beach to beach, which is kind of what Jason and I like to do. We learned from our trip last year, link to our playlist from our trip last year. We like to beach hop and we like to like go to a couple beaches and then go grab some lunch and then go to another beach and then go get cleaned up and go to dinner, that kind of a thing. But it's nice to have a cuter pair of shorts. I usually wear like biker shorts. I'll show you what else I have down here. I also have a new swimsuit that I'm going to wear, but I always felt kind of uncomfortable wearing biker shorts kind of around town. So these ones are a little bit like looser and not so tight fitting. And they'll also let both the swimsuit dry and this will dry quickly if it gets wet from the swimsuit. I mean, come on. Like if that doesn't scream Hawaii, I don't know what does. Okay, so if you are not following me here on my regular channel, I am going through a weight loss journey and I have happy news to share about that in terms of this trip and the next thing that I'm going to show you. I have ordered this swimsuit, I'll show it here in a second, three times because each one has not fit. I've gotten smaller sizes. How awesome is that? Like, I don't even know if this one fits, it literally just came. And when Chelsea got home from school, she's like, Mom, I think it's your swimsuit. You can do your video because I've been waiting for this item to appear. I have literally returned this to Amazon three times. Look how cute. And the best thing is it fits my chest. Yes, if you have large ladies, you understand. And the straps are nice and soft and they can expand or contract. I always need to hold my ladies up a little bit tighter than others. But the nicest thing about this swimsuit, let me show you the bottoms. I just have a little pair of biker bottoms, okay? They're just biker shorts. I don't know if I'm gonna wear, they're just swimsuit. Oh, they do have, usually I have to wear underwear, but this one has a lining, so that's amazing. Okay, here's the issue. And if you are not a larger lady, you don't understand this issue. If you can just put on a bikini and go, then ignore this next, next part because you just don't understand. When you have a larger chest, you need to hold it up. And sometimes swimsuit don't do the full duty. So I usually have to wear another bra underneath my swimsuit. I've got sports bras, I've got swim sports bras, and I've got bikini top for larger women that I have worn underneath my swimsuit top. And then I usually end up wearing biker shorts, so I need to wear a pair of underwear underneath. Four items of clothing that I'm wearing when I'm going swimming. And can I just tell you how hard it is to get sand out of four items of clothing that are suctioned to your body from wet being wet. It is not fun and it's not comfortable. And then when you wanna go and beach hop, you have like all these layers on and it's very uncomfortable and very hot once you're not in the water. I do not have to do that with this one. Look how much light and glow I get from this swimsuit. I'm very excited to just be able to put this swimsuit on, put the bottoms on, and go swim. I'm very excited. And how cute is it gonna look with these shorts? I mean, <laughs> how cute is that? I mean, I, I saw these shorts and I was like, I have to find a pink swimsuit to go with that. So I'm very excited for this new swimsuit. Oh no, one more thing from Amazon. I should have done this item before I did the clothing, but that's okay. I got this a long time ago and not in terms of going on a trip, but got my first set of AirPods. Not the item I got from Amazon. I got my cute little AirPod case from Amazon. I mean, if you don't know a YouTuber that needs this AirPod case to give it to them. But I am taking AirPods on a plane and traveling for the first time. My children have all had them before me. So I am taking AirPods and I'm going to be so excited to not be stuck to the cord and then you have your drink and then the tray has to go up because your neighbor needs to go to the bathroom and then you've got cords and I finally get to just put my earbuds in, watch the show. I'm very excited to take my AirPods and my cute case. I mean, that's just really cute and kind of fun. Next up is Old Navy. I did get another t-shirt, but I have it packed. It's just, uh, has a cute little love all decal in rainbow prints, but it's kind of like the summer colors. I got stuff at Old Navy when it was on clearance. It was literally $2. So I got the other shirt for like $2.50, and then I got this one for $2. And I just, it was, it's like Mother Earth. So it says Mother Like No Other. And I just kind of felt like it had like a fun little summer feel to it. And it looks really cute with my green shorts. So I think I might wear this one on the plane, something fun and festive. And then I got this tank top. And if this doesn't scream tropical, summer, beach, Hawaii, I don't know what does. I mean, come on. 
That is so cute. I know it says California. It says Old Navy California 94, but that's okay, because guess what? Can we see this? Can we see this action going on? I've got this. I've got my little tankini going on, right? I've got my swimsuit, but then I want to go grab a bite to eat. Look, how cute. I've got a little tropical t-shirt. I've got like a, I've got like a tropical tank top and a tropical pair of shorts and a cute little hot pink swimsuit underneath. There's just something that's to be said about being a little bit larger and feeling cute. When you find things like this, even if it was only $3, it makes me feel good and it makes me feel cute when otherwise I'd be really self-conscious about my weight and my swimsuits and being exposed. But as my neighbor who is leaving for Hawaii in two days, her husband said, no one actually looks at everyone else around you. No one worries about how uncomfortable someone else might be feeling. You're only worried about yourself. So if you're not worried about yourself, there's no worry. So I'm I'm learning to get to that point. Okay, so in terms of all of that, my weight and stuff, I am going to include just an image here of my treadmill and my weight scale that I got from Amazon, just because that is part of the motivation that I've had recently in terms of losing weight. I do have goals of losing weight in terms of this vacation and I'm attaining them. I'm, it's very fun to like lose weight every single day and to go through three different sizes of a swimsuit in the down sizes. <laughs> that hasn't happened to me for a very long time. Like a very, very long time, like pre-kid long time. So I am motivated by this specific trip in order to lose weight and be able to go on vacation. So every time I get on that treadmill and every time I get on that scale, I think I'm just one pound lighter and I'm working out more and that's very exciting. It's also part of the reason why I bought some extra workout shorts and workout bras and workout tank top. They're all packed and they're all put away. I'm not gonna include that. But part of my excitement for going to Hawaii is hiking and walking more. I am pretty determined to get up in the mornings and go for walks with Jason. Like we'll go out and start our walk and then he will run and I will continue to walk and we'll meet back up at our hotel. I haven't ever done that before. I haven't ever been motivated to do that before. I've always slept in and he goes for his run and he comes back and then we go to the pool. But I'm very motivated to do that in Hawaii this time because I'm very comfortable walking and I would love to walk on the boardwalk. So all of that is kind of encompassed in this weight loss journey and the, a lot of the excitement that I have for going to Hawaii right now is that I'm more comfortable in my skin and I'm more willing to get out and about and Hawaii is a great place to do so. The next things we got at Target, I've gotten a few other supplies from the dollar store. I've got toothpaste and conditioner and a little pack for band-aids and first aid stuff. That's all in my makeup bag. I'm not terribly worried about showing you all that kind of stuff. But at Target today, I did pick up some Clorox wipes. We need these for the plane. If you know, you know, even during COVID or post COVID, I should say, wash everything in your airplane seat. You are going to be amazed. But lately we have traveled after COVID and I will say the seats are a lot cleaner, but don't risk it. Just get yourself some Clorox wipes, stick it into your plane bag and wash everything. So the other, side to the conditioner. You heard me say I have conditioner that I got at the dollar store. That size, a travel size of shampoo is not enough for me. And we aren't, we're at a hotel, it's a resort, but we don't get replenished with bathroom products at that place. I never get enough shampoo. Even though my hair is shorter, I have thick hair and I have to use shampoo twice. And it's just not enough in the three ounce bottle. And that's why I'm going to check my makeup bag because I'm, I didn't want to have to buy four travel size shampoos in order to have enough. We've always just bought it in Hawaii. I go to Walmart, I get some shampoo because we all need shampoo, but it's just me going this time that needs it. Well, Jason does too, but not in the quantities that I do. So at Target today, I went ahead and picked up this little bottle. Yes, it's like some kind of like a naturally derived, I don't know. It's a frou-frou bottle of shampoo that I would not normally buy because it's not, this is $4. I will probably have extra to come home with. This is probably too much, but at least then I will be able to use it here at home. And again, it's gonna get checked. I'm not worried about the ounces. I just don't wanna have like all the little bottles like lined up in the shower. That's just annoying. We've done it before and it's super annoying. Okay, next up is sunscreen. Yes, I got sunscreen from Costco. Nothing special. This was on clearance at Costco, so I went ahead and picked that up. I have other sunscreen in like our beach bag that I'm gonna pull out, face stick, other like cream lotions or whatever. But when you go to Hawaii, you cannot wear regular sunscreen in the ocean. I've talked about this before and we've gotten 
three other kinds of mineral sunscreen before in the past and the last trip that we did we thought we had found the right one and it was great and we got fried i don't know if it was like the wrong spf or it just didn't work very well. Also left us white. Like it never rubbed in. And we just were caked in white sunscreen all day long. It was so hard to get out of, even after like a shower. And I have kind of read up about it, not only like what brands to get for the Coral Reef Safe sunscreen, you had to have the right ingredients in it in order for you to be able to go into the ocean. And a lot of the reviews said this one is not only safe, for the coral, but it also will rub in. And I actually feel like, for you guys' sake and for mine, I think I'm going to put it on. So we're gonna test it real quick. It is the Blue Lizard. I've heard a lot of good things about this brand. Just me and Jason going, and honestly, like even if the kids were going with us, that would be plenty. Because you're only putting it on when you're going into the ocean. Most of the time, you're face down, so I don't always worry about putting on our faces because we wear the big snorkel masks. So our face usually doesn't get sun sunburned. It's usually just our shoulder tips and the backs of your legs tip. Make sure you put sunscreen on your calves and your bottom of your feet. It will get sunburned when you're swimming and snorkeling. Just imagine what's exposed. It's not normally what's exposed when you're in a swimming pool. Trust me, sunscreen. Okay, so we're just gonna do this and we're going to rub it in and see if I stay white or if it rubs in. So far, ooh, yes. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so, you can't even tell that I put any on. Oh, I'm so happy. Can't even tell you. The other one had such a white cast. You literally, I mean, I just, you saw that, how fast it rubbed in. I'm very excited. And it's SPF 50. Highly recommend this. Very last thing that we got, and then we're done. Sorry, this is a long video. And we decided to get this today when we went to Target, because I was talking to Jason, and we have a direct flight to Hawaii, but there's a lot of chaos going on in flying right now, and that's, Part of the reason why we chose the direct flight and paid like $40 extra per ticket to get the direct flight, but I don't wanna lose my luggage. I have to check a bag. We just don't have enough space to do it in carry-ons. I've never lost a bag before, but it feels like the times are changing and <laughs> I don't wanna risk it. So we bought our first AirTag and we're gonna take this AirTag. I literally haven't even like opened it up and we're going to put this air tag into my checked bag and then we can track it you know okay my, my suitcase got on the plane okay my suitcase got off the plane okay my suitcase is coming down through the carousel and i'm going about about to get it it also will be helpful to be able to i can wait for my suitcase and jason can run off and go and get our car ahead of everyone and i will be able to tell him hey my, my suitcase is coming i can see the tag i'll be out quick and then we can go and meet up and save ourselves some time. Oh, I pet it upside down the whole time. <laughs> Sorry. Air tag. Now you can see it upright. I'm not even gonna redo that clip. Totally fine, you guys understand. You wanna see what it looks like? I, haven't, I literally haven't even opened it up. And I have to make sure I've done my latest update on my phone in order to be able to activate the air tag. I'm very excited to get this working and take it with us and put it into our suitcase. In fact, I was at Costco today with Jason and we ran into our neighbor who's leaving to Hawaii tomorrow. And she was like, that is a genius idea. <laughs> She's like, I think I'm going to Target on my way home. Thank you for watching this. We are so excited to go to Hawaii. Follow along, click that little subscribe button and the notification bell because you will get alerted every single day. You guys, my Hawaii videos are my funnest videos to edit because they're the funnest times. I love Hawaii so much. So make sure you click that notification bell because it'll tell you every morning when I'm going to post a video for you guys to watch. If you have any questions about Hawaii, we have now done every single island and I have something to tell you about every single one of them. They all have unique experiences. We are going to Maui. It is my all time favorite out of the four islands. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you have trips coming up, want to plan a trip, I love absolutely love to talk about Hawaii. Not feel like you are wasting my time to put a comment down below and ask me a question about Hawaii. For all of my regular followers, they will all tell you. Yeah, Dana will talk about it. She'll talk about it till you're sick of it. All my friends are sick of it. <laughs> you're all sick of it so much. Anyhow, aloha and mahalo for watching. See you in Hawaii. the man
magic places in the world I've been to This is where my heart is, oh you know it's true No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you